Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A. Crizzy here. And it's time for a Blu-ray update for October 8th, 2024. As of today, I went and got three new movies on Blu-ray from Amazon.com. And these are all three Blu-rays that I have for today's media updates. So, with that being said, let's get started on showing you guys the first Blu-ray that I got. Which is actually which is actually my, my my favorite horror movie of the year of 2024 for right now. And that is the A24 movie that I went and saw with my cousin Ashley, Maxine. The third installment of the X trilogy from Ty West. Yep, and it says it right there. A film by Ty West from the writer and director of X and Pearl. Two great horror movies from A24. And this is also the second the second A24 movie I saw in theaters this year after a civil war. Rated R for strong violence, gore and sexual content, graphic nudity, language and drug use. The runtime is approximately 103 minutes. And the movie stars not only, you know, like Maya Goth, of course, like, you know, from, from, from the other two films. Also starring also starring Elizabeth Debnicki, Moses Sumney, Michelle Monaghan, Bobby Cannavale, Halsey, Lily Collins, with, yeah, and Kevin Bacon, yeah. Yeah, I, sorry, I, I, I don't really know how to pronounce that guy's name right, or... If I'm proven wrong, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below on how to pronounce it right. So, yeah. I know viewers out there have have been mixed on on this film Maxine, but for me, I personally loved it. Yeah, and, and like I said, it's it's still my, my number one favorite horror movie of the year. Even though even though when I was watching the movie, it kind of felt felt more like a mystery thriller film, whatever. But unlike the first two films in the X trilogy, which were horror films X and Pearl, but but I gotta say, I really enjoyed this a lot. And this is, and speaking of which, this is also the second movie starring both Bobby Cannavale and Halsey together. They both previously worked on the Illumination film Sync 2, which, you know, I already said that in the review on this film. And of course, just like in the trailer, there, 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 I, I also really like the Bates Motel scene from Psycho. Yeah, the Bates Motel set, like, in this film, which I thought was pretty cool. Also, it was pretty cool how there was actually some VHS tapes featured in the film, too, because... Yeah, I know a lot of physical media collectors out there are going to get all, all nostalgic for VHS tapes yeah, that, that were featured in this film. Yeah. But yeah, Maxine, I really liked it. All right. Next up, we have another horror movie that came out this year, and it's also one of my favorite horror films of the year, A Quiet Place Day One. Yeah, Dad and I went and saw A Quiet Place Day One together at the beach, and... I really liked it. Read a PG-13 for terror and violent content and bloody images. And the runtime is about 99 minutes. And the movie stars um, Alex Wolf, Joseph Quinn, and Lupita Nyong'o, whatever you want to say her last name. But I pronounce her, her first name right, Lupita. Yeah. She's she's actually the same actress who's been in a lot of stuff recently, and she recently played Roz in, from The Wild Robot.
So yeah, Quiet Place Day 1, great movie. And also the the cat the cat the cat in this film was also was also pretty cool to see as well. Like, like, and you guys know how in cats and horror movies, like like the, you because you know for sure that the, the cat's gonna die. But the, does the cat die in the in a quiet place day one? Well, it's been out for quite a while, so I guess it's safe to safe to say, no, the cat does not die. Nope. But yeah, regardless and all that, quiet place day one still a great movie. It's one of one of my favorite horror films of the year. And there you go. All right, and now the next and third and, and, and final Blu-ray that I got for, for today's media update is... Because this, this movie this movie is, a, is actually from, from the same people who worked on Poor Things. And I because I remember be, earlier this year, I actually got some previews for this film at my local Cinemark movie theater. And, and, and it's from the same people who worked on Poor Things. And this movie's called Kinds of Kindness. Starring Emma Stone, Jesse Plemons, Willem Dafoe, Margaret Qualley, Hong Cho, and Hunter Zephyr. Like, yeah, I always have trouble pronouncing names right. My apologies, my mistake. But yeah, a film by the same guy who directed Poor Things. Rated R for... For strong, dis disturbing, violent content, strong sexual content, full nudity, and language. Oh yeah, and the runtime is approximately 164 minutes. I've been hearing pretty decent things about this film since... I know a lot of people love poor things, and I love it too, but I, I, I understand that it's not everyone's cup of tea, because, yeah. Yeah, but but since I like poor things, I, I'm, I'm, I'll, have, I'll probably have to check this movie out at some point. Kinds of kindness. And there you go. Kinds of kindness. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, guys. So that, that's all three Blu-rays for today's media updates. So that's going to be it for this Blu-ray update for October 8th, 2024, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, if you haven't yet. And also make sure to like this video as well. With that being said, thanks for watching. And until next time. This is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.